A Sacramento County man accused of exploiting at least 100 kids in the U.S. and all over the world appears in court. Tonight, crime experts say it's a wake up call for parents to keep an eye on who your kids are talking to online. Think carefully about who a parent would allow into their child's bedroom unsupervised because that's exactly who is getting into their world unsupervised uh, through this platform. 24-year-old Demetrius Davis was mostly quiet during today's brief hearing. Prosecutors say he was posing online as a young girl named Lizzie as part of his plan to groom children into sending him sexually explicit images. Yeah, it is a frightening story for any parent who has children online. Case Area 3's Melanie Wingo has more now from today's court appearance and the advice to help keep your kids safe. In his first court appearance, Demetrius Davis, hearing the crimes against children he's accused of. Committing a lewd or lascivious act with a child under the age of 14. Investigators identifying at least 80 victims in the United States alone, 15 others outside the U.S. Children between the ages of 6 and 13, detectives say, were coerced by Davis to capture videos and photos of themselves engaging in sexual acts alone or with siblings or other children known to them. The crimes involve great violence, great bodily harm, great of bodily harm or other acts disclosing a high degree of cruelty, viciousness, callousness. Davis is suspected of creating several fake social media accounts, portraying himself as a preteen female child named Lizzie. The manner in which these crimes were carried out indicates planning, sophistication, or professionalism. Investigators saying he would befriend and communicate with children on the internet in order to groom them. It's alleged that the victims were particularly vulnerable. This is a character that everybody despises. Former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis describing this as an overwhelming case. This hopefully has put his reign of terror, his victimization to a stop. But not an isolated incident. It also is a, an unfortunate illustration of the threat that continues to exist. One that should serve as a wake up call for parents. It is of paramount importance that parents understand the magnitude of this. Given the nature of how child predators operate. These people are extraordinarily thorough in terms of how they set up their victims. They groom them. They go to great lengths to, set, to build a reputation and an image of something that the child doesn't need to fear. Most important, says McGinnis. You can't just assume if your child is in a room and you, you don't know what they're, what they're viewing, with whom they're communicating electronically, that everything is okay. Asking all parents to think of it from this perspective. Would you let somebody like this into your child's bedroom? Well, honestly, through the miracle of electronics, that is exactly what has happened. In Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. And Davis was also appointed a public defender at today's arraignment. His next court appearance is set for May 10th.